What's up guys, how's it going? Abraham here. Monty. From worshipessentials.co. Now I'm the worship pastor here at Sunnyvale International Church and Monty, also known as Emmanuel here, is our electric guitar one, yeah. as we call you here, uh, yeah. or our main uh, electric guitar player here at Sunnyvale International Church. Um, so just a quick background of who, of what we do or, or who we are. Um, I've been playing, man, I've been doing worship pretty much my whole life. Um, I am now the worship pastor here, but I was uh, at another church before this um, and I've led a couple other groups. I've always been a keys player. Uh, Monty's always been a guitar player. You've guitar done player. bass too, right? And bass, yeah. Um, but recently I just started getting into acoustic guitar um, and he's been helping me build a pedal board. So I've always, I'm a big, uh, a big fan of anything that's technology, anything that's cool, that's innovative, that's new. Um, so when I heard about, you know, uh, pedal boards, he was telling me that everything, you know, is, is very hands-on, everything's analog. Um, but I have heard of stuff that is digital. You know, uh, our other guitar player, he has a Pod HD 500. Pod HD 500. Um, and, you know, I've, I've heard of stuff. So when I was I was wanting to build a pedal board specifically for the acoustic guitar, it made more sense to build something that was more, you know, just simple pedals and, and uh, uh, while still being boutique, right, and bougie. bougie. Uh, and bougie. Our, our bougie level had to be high. Um, but we did want to, I did want to go ahead and build a, a more traditional pedal board. Except we have a band, um, apart from the church, we have our own band, and we travel a lot. We go to different churches to play on any given Sunday, any given month. Um, and it's, sometimes it gets a little tricky carrying a lot of gear. For example, you use your amps, you Amp, got mics, board, what else you got? Everything. Uh, cables. Yeah. Um, bunch of things yeah it, it gets tricky it gets tricky after a while to be able to you know carry that stuff from place to place and then be back here and set up everything just like we had and mic everything up like if we had it on sunday morning uh it gets kind of tricky so we uh, placed an order or you placed an order last week go ahead and tell them a little bit about it so we, i decided to go with the line six helix the rack version yes with the controller so why why helix abraham yeah why why helix, um man? Trust me, guys. Like I, I'm pretty sure as soon as we told you that our other guitar player used a Pod HD 500, you guys clicked <laughs> out of the video. <laughs> You're like these guys don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my whole life grew up playing amps, little tube amps, and they're awesome. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This guy it, hates amps, and <laughs> I kind of do too. Um, okay, my reasoning for that though is because I always like quiet stages. So if you can mic your amp in the back, right, and and not hear it at all in the, on the stage, that's perfect. Except at this church, uh, we have a room back here, and you can still kind of hear it. So I like having a, a clean uh, stage, and then you know just loud out in the front. But anyways, so I was using a Vox AC15 here, and <clears throat> you could still hear it from um, like the congregation could still hear it. So and that thing was heavy. Yeah. And it was loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I decided, well, Abraham convinced me to go digital. And I didn't want to, guys. Trust me. All you <laughs> bougie guitar people, I didn't want to. I'm all about tube amps, Strymon. I love Strymon. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I really see the benefits of Helix. Um, one, the weight. Yeah. Right? It's super light. It's just the, the rack and the controllers. And even if you get the uh, floor model, it's just the floor model. Yeah, yeah. So you got you got you didn't get the the floor. I didn't model. get you the floor. The model. I got the rack and the controller. The controller. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So he got he got them separate. Um, we did want to do. I, I, you're like me. Whenever I get a product, the first thing I want to do is open it right away. I don't care about putting it on Snapchat or anything. I just want to open it and, and get my hands on it. But I begged them. I was like yesterday, uh, last night. I was like, please do not open the Helix. Let us let's do an unboxing for the people. So over here, we're gonna show you guys really quick what comes in the box of the Helix. So first thing that we got is we got over here, obviously, uh, this box that says Line 6 on it. And then once we open it up inside, we have uh, the actual package. Pretty nice packaging, man. It's really uh, nice, I really man. like how it looks like. So it's a, it's a sleeve. It almost feels like it's Apple made or like, like Beats. Like almost. The, like, yeah, yeah right? Beats. So when you, when you peel off that sleeve, then you have the box itself. And once you open up the box inside, very simple stuff that we get. We got the Helix, obviously. We got um, some cables. And we got a USB, which was kind of weird. We're still, it. we're still, uh, you know, gonna figure that out. We, again, today's the first day with the Helix, so we we did already plug it into the system of the church. Um, we have already, you know, EQ'd it in the back. Everything, it's all set up, ready to go. And we're gonna have you guys listen to it as well, so you guys can, you know, kind of get uh, a feel of what we're listening to as well. Uh, we love it. But um, we did want to give you guys our first impression. So Emmanuel, being always a you know uh, a, a pedal board guy, uh, being a tube amp guy, what do you think about the Helix? I think it's awesome, man. Honestly, I was a little worried um, going into it because yeah. you know you know in in church people call line six line six six six. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I already knew people were maybe going to discredit us yeah, yeah, or yeah. me at least for not really knowing about guitar and yeah. stuff. 
but it's awesome, man. And honestly, the real reason why I decided to go with the Helix was for consistency. Yeah. Um. So we we're traveling a lot, and yeah. honestly, like micing up a, a traditional tube amp with a SM57 or whatever, but you're kind of in the mercy of the sound engineer that's there yeah. and or the soundboard. And we don't always travel with a sound yeah. engineer. Like we have a great sound engineer here at church, but when we go to other churches, we've run into all kinds of situations. And we'll take you through it, you know, as uh, on this channel, we'll, we'll show you, you know, what the circumstances we face and how we overcome them. Sometimes I have to be the engineer and the, the pianist and leading the, the so it, it's just, it gets out of hand. But with the Helix, you know, you get a flat channel and you can EQ yourself. Yeah, in so it's yeah. basically, I spent maybe like half an hour setting up and now it's consistent. Yeah. Wherever I go, it's gonna <laughs> sound exactly how I set it up. Yeah. So that's that's huge. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. second is gonna be price slash logistics. Yeah. Um, to be able to do what the <laughs> Helix does and do it like analog based, not analog, because I know Strymon pedals aren't really yeah, yeah, yeah. digital. Um, but a, to be able to do that with a capable true bypass sleeper is gonna was gonna cost thousands of dollars. Yeah. Right? Like uh, disaster area mm -hmm. makes um, you know MIDI capable true bypass loopers that could you know turn off a bunch of pedals. Yeah. While turning uh, other pedals on, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that was gonna I think the the controller itself cost starting six hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the Line Six Helix just really makes sense if you want one ambient, ambient swells, mm -hmm. you can have four reverbs turned on by just one button. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. crazy to me. And, yeah. and that's what and I program actually, it wherever you want. And that's really what I, I wanted it for. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah. to tap dance around stage and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it makes it, it makes it easier. I, the, again, I'm not really a guitar, I don't consider myself a guitar player yet, but um, what I would say is just seeing how you and Eli always travel and take stuff, it's so much easier to just take a board and again, you just set up and go. Like I, um, my piano's not that big. I actually don't use this keyboard. I only use it here at church, but uh, when, when we go out, I have my, my North Stage 2 and the keyboard itself is pretty light. The case I put it in is pretty <laughs> heavy, um, but you know, it's, it's just one thing and I'm good to go, right? But, and then Christian too, he will set up, uh, he's our drummer, he'll set up wherever we go. He's, he'll just take a snare, he'll tune up the drum set that, we, that we're at and you know, we're good to go. But with guitars, it always seems like we fill up our car with all just guitar just stuff. Guitars. So now, you know, it's very, very portable. So what, besides the Helix, what did you, what did you get? Because I, I know you got a box or something. So what, what did you, what did so you get? So with the Helix, I got the Helix rack. Yeah. So it's a rack mountable unit. So we needed a rack to mount yeah. it. Yeah. So we got a Gator case, um, <laughs> a rack case that, um, that's perfect, is all, perfect size. Yeah, yeah. And we also got a Furman power conditioner. Basically, yeah. well, for the people who don't know what that is, it's basically just an outlet. Cool. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> who can charge our phones? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's uh, a very easy to use and, and very pretty minimalistic. I mean, right? yeah, to, yeah, it's for pretty better, minimal. the lack of a better word, it's very minimalistic. So what we're gonna do now, because uh, we don't want to bore you uh, with too much talking, what we want to do is we want to show you guys a little bit, um, you know, of actual hands-on stuff. Show you, you know, not a review. We'll give you a review later. But again, today's the first day with it. But just first impressions, if you can walk them through, kind of how you set up your board, like what you did, sure. and just have them. Hear you know what what kind of sound you're playing with right now. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take a look. All right, guys. So we're gonna take a look at um, some of the sounds that uh, I I spent maybe like 30 minutes trying to put together a pedal board. So right now, if you guys look down here, we kind of have it set up as a traditional pedal board. Um, all my sound boxes are here. Um, so let's just take a sound of my clean tone. I'm running through a matchless amp and a matchless 412 cab. So that would. Let's see how it sounds. So it's pretty clean, um, almost at the edge of breakup. So that's why I have this Venotar here, which, which is basically a clon that is really kind of just fanning up my tone, not really doing much, but it really makes a difference. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys beforehand that I do have some pedals already turned on that are not here on um, as stomp boxes. I do have a compressor, and I think that's it. A compressor and an EQ. So that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna play through some, you know, some some songs and tell me tell me guys what you guys think.
All right, guys, if you take a look down here, there's a holy stomp box right here. Um, and that's that's short for Holy Spirit. <laughs> so that's my take on an ambient swell type of thing. Um, basically, that one switch turns on four different reverbs and two different delays. Um, that basically sounds what you it sounds like what you guys hear uh, heard right a moment ago. But I'm gonna play a little bit just so you guys can uh, hear it some more. So pretty self-explanatory, guys. Um, I have a couple overdrives on here, a couple delays, and I love it. But most people run these as um, snapshots. So I'm gonna switch over my uh, my sets, my settings over to snapshot mode, and we'll take a look. All right, guys. With a simple press of a button right here, just mode, and this takes me to snapshot mode. So I'm going to go over to my Unción, um, basically bank. You guys, can the people see, man? Yeah, people can see. All right, so if you guys look down, I have four different Snapchats. Snapshots? Snapshots. Snapchats. Yo, add me on Snapchat. <laughs> four different snapshot, Snapshots. So basically, one of them is rhythm. The other one is um, adds a little more drive. The chorus is just a simple overdrive with delay. And the last one is the ambient. And this is this tone is a lot more for like, for all my Hispanic people, for like a me and San Marcos, a little more overdriven, a little more saturated. So I'm just gonna play through it and show you guys how easy it is to just turn on a bunch of pedals um, at the touch of a switch. <laughs> So most people have that set up as they have their songs, so let's say uh, on top, and then they have just snapshots, verse, chorus, bridge on the bottom. All right, guys, that concludes our first impressions of the Line 6 Helix. Thank you so much for watching. In the weeks to come, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the rack and the controller. But until then, this is Monty from WorshipEssentials.co. Thanks for watching.